Okay, folks, this is Tony Aguilar, and I've got another unboxing for you, or in this case, an unpackaging. <clears throat> and this is something that I just got in the mail today from uh, a vendor that's normally at Historicon called Army Group Center Wargaming. And we'll take a look at what's inside here. Now, I'll be honest with you, when I found this in the in the parcel box. Actually, it wasn't even in the parcel box. It was in the in the um, in the mailbox. It was just shoved in there. So hopefully, this is soft sided. Hopefully, there's not any damage to this. But this is the Plastic Soldier Company uh, Panzer III G and H variants, and um, they seem to be okay. Uh, this is this is what the new blister is. If you watched the unboxing that I did on the Panzer uh, 38, the Czech 38 and the variants, that's the old box. Um, matter of fact, I still have that box right here somewhere. Here it is. This is how they used to do their packaging, and now they've gone to the blister. So, um, anyhow, so it's a blister, and you can, um, let's open this up. You get three vehicles in here, one seventy-second scale, of course, of course for me. And we'll take a look at what's in here. And we'll do some comparisons size-wise because I heard a rumor that these were kind of on a large size. So, um, you know, my, my wargaming isn't super uh, accurate, meaning uh, I have some 176 scale models and some 170 seconds, so I mix and match. My preference is to use 170 second because they match the figures a lot better. But uh, anyhow, so here's my biggest gripe with the blister. The blister um, comes with photocopied instructions, um, not full color, uh, like the the last one that I opened up. The Panzer 38 one that's literally full color and crisper detail. These are kind of blurryish, which still work. Um, I had some problems with the T70 ones, just trying to identify some of the stuff. But um, anyhow, so you could make either the G Panzer 3 Alst G or H out of these, and I don't think there's a huge difference on them. It might be like an idler wheel type difference. So. Um, here is the sprue. You get three of these. You get uh, a couple tank commanders, no decals. Here's the short 50. And um, let's go ahead and take one of these guys off the sprue. And we have a 172nd scale tank to compare these two and see if these are even bigger than 172nd. I hope they're not, but it is what it is. It'll be close enough for me. This is a UM model of a Panzer 3H. And just comparing them size by size, yeah, you can see it is wider. It is wider and it is a bit longer. So they are oversized a little bit. So something you might want to keep in mind, this may not be the thing for you. I think, you know, considering you get three of them on here for about $30. I think this is the right set for me, but um, they are a little on the large size. Maybe they're 171 scale or 70, 70th. I don't know. Um, I don't know why they decided to make them a little bit bigger, but um, anyhow, uh, you get three of them in here and no decals are included. Um, if the fit is anything like the other kits that I've made, which are uh, the T70, and I'm almost done with this. I just got them in yesterday, but this here's a Czech 38. These things went together like incredible. Just really, really, really easy to go together. So I suspect that'll be the same thing with, with these. And um, they give you um, the option of uh, the hatches closed or open. Um, which is nice. That's one thing I forgot to mention in the Check 38 video I did yesterday is it does give you optionals to, to do either one. This The cupola is not installed on this one yet, but you could do either one. And same thing here with this, uh, with the Panzer 3s. 
and um, yeah anyhow it's these are nice nice kits even if they are a little bit oversized um, I got some Panzer IVs. I got one Panzer IV that's particularly large. That's a die-cast model. So, you know, there's some going to be some small variations. I think if you, they're not going to be really noticeable um, once you put them on the game table. But it is nice to point that out. Um, and here's the instructions. They should put together pretty quickly. And um, I'm not sure what the difference is here. Um, escape hatches. Front wheel early, front wheel H left. So okay, so it's the it's basically the idler and the sprocket wheel that determines whether it's a G or an H. Well, I may just make them all one kind. I may make them all G's. So because I do have some F's as well. So um, anyhow, we will add these to the collection and more Barbarossa fun. So. We're building up our uh, stuff for um, early or mid mid nineteen forty one scenarios, and um, anyhow, um, yeah, I like doing a little size comparison here um, of the other things, so you guys get an idea and find out what's actually in here. Um, the detailing on these is really really nice. You know, there's a couple things like you know you've got some some marks you're gonna have to fill in here like the on the back of the tank commanders no big deal but you know it gives you it gives you tank figures and and they're pretty nice looking actually so um anyhow just thought you guys might find this interesting um plastic soldier company panzer three alst g and h and um there you go um don't forget to uh like and subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of videos and we'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.